A New House for Charlie by Doris Letcher. Like all little snails, Charlie and his friends love snail racing. Today, Charlie is wearing the number two for the race. Charlie is ahead an entire tentacle length when... Crack! Disaster strikes. What rotten luck! Without a house, what will happen to you in the winter? say Charlie's friends. Go see Mrs. Hedgehog. She always knows what to do. Mrs. Hedgehog says, you need to knit. Knit for the winter. She gives Charlie scraps of wool and two of her spines as knitting needles. And so Charlie knits. Two knits, two pearls, a snuggly warm house. But unfortunately, it isn't waterproof, and wet wool is too damp, even for a snail. Keep your tentacles raised high and do not despair, say the ants from the neighboring garden. We'll help you. The hardworking ants build Charlie the strongest and most waterproof snail house there ever was. To thank them, Charlie gives them an apple slice. He is ready to leave, as everyone is quite happy. But the new house is so heavy that Charlie can hardly move an inch. I'll starve if I can't move, thinks Charlie. So he leaves his house to a freezing beetle family. Just then, an excited dragonfly flies by and says, I found you a house! Charlie likes this house at first sight. But snails simply can't crawl over dry sand. Come with me, the rat comforts. I'll bring you to the nicest place on earth. There you will find the house of your dreams. But one house is too tight. The other too sticky. One has sharp edges and the next is already occupied. Suddenly, a wonderful scent fills Charlie's nose. My dream house, cheers Charlie, but it's unfortunate that the new house tastes so good. Every day, the house gets a little bit smaller, and after a week, it disappears completely. Now, Charlie finds shelter in the wood pile. But as a snail, he prefers having his own home. Feeling sad, he creeps back into his garden, and there he discovers... The most beautiful snail house, exactly in his size. Where did it come from? Charlie inspects it and is startled. He recognizes that shoe. Don't be scared, says Matthew, the shoe's owner. I painted this colorful snail house just for you. Matthew noticed that he had stepped on the snail's house and he felt really bad. So he searched his treasure box for the biggest snail house, decorated it and put it in the garden. So I can recognize the snail, Matthew had said to himself. Since then, Charlie and Matthew have become good friends. But when Charlie's friends want to snail race with him, he hides in his new house. And he's as slow as a snail to come out again. The end.